uh, in this chapter uh, which is named as excretion and osmoregulation uh, you should uh, go through following topics uh, following concept from our materials like nature of excretive products in animals means uh, which animal uh, is ammonotelic which is urotelic which is uricotelic different excretive organs in animals starting from protozoa to chordata then uh, you should uh, learn about structure of human kidney their location their parts nephron which is uh, the unit of kidney uh, you should know the types of nephron there are two types of nephron we must be knowing juxta um, glomerular nephron and cortical nephron as well as uh, their structure what are the different parts of nephron then you should also know the method of urine formation and osmoregulation and uh, finally the ras mechanism that is renin angiotensin aldosterone system the most complicated aspect is uh, osmoregulation which is uh, which i am going to discuss in this uh, osmoregulation by kidney this is one of the most important function of kidney by osmoregulating uh, regulatory mechanism two types of uh, urine is formed uh, one is called uh, hypotonic urine other is called hypertonic urine hypotonic uh, urine a urine whose osmotic concentration is less than uh, blood the normal osmotic concentration of blood is 300 milli osmol this is normal osmotic concentration of blood if in a particular condition a uh, urine whose osmotic concentration is less than 300 milli osmol is formed such urine is called hypotonic urine if in a condition a person passes uh, a urine whose osmotic concentration is more than 300 milli osmol then the urine is said to be hypertonic means we use this two term hypotonic and hypotonic with regard to blood osmotic pressure of blood Now see how does hypotonic urine is formed. This mechanism of urine formation is called diluting mechanism. In this case, urine is diluted. Means a urine will be produced whose osmotic concentration is less than three milli osmol. Now, how uh, such urine is formed? In case of overhydration, means if we are taking more water, the water is absorbed in blood. due to because water is a solvent when water enters uh, into blood its, its osmotic pressure is decreased it goes below 300 milli osmol this change in osmotic pressure of blood is detected by certain osmoreceptors present on hypothalamus then what happens hypothalamus stops releasing adh it is a hormone which helps in absorption of water adh uh, expanded form of adh is uh, anti diuretic hormone it is uh, synthesized in hypothalamus was stored in posterior lobe of pituitary because adh helps in absorption of water and and uh, in a condition where adh secretion is stopped no further absorption of water would occur in blood so means blood would not be further diluted then what happens a other hormone uh, called aldosterone hormone aldosterone which is also called as a, uh, the salt retaining hormone is secreted by adrenal cortex this hormone helps in absorption of salts salts that is uh, from nephric filtrate into blood when salt enters into blood its normal osmotic pressure is retained in this condition we have seen ki water is not absorbed from nephric filtrate into blood but salt is absorbed from nephric filtrate into blood so osmotic pressure of blood goes below osmotic pressure of uh, osmotic pressure of urine goes below osmotic pressure of blood under such condition a uh, human kidney can form a urine whose osmotic concentration is about 50 milli osmol this is osmotic concentration of urine which is about 1/6 of the normal osmotic pressure of blood 
this type of urine is called hypotonic because normal concentration of blood is 300 milliosmol and in this condition kidney forms a urine whose osmotic concentration is 50 milliosmol it is 1 6 this urine is called hypotonic urine.